It was two weeks ago today, Republicans unveiled a force called Sarah Palin. And so far, well, she's a force. She's really been giving McCain a boost. <laughs> she's also creating somewhat of a style frenzy, and First Coast businesses are finding ways to cash in on it. First Coast News' Eric Spivey has that story, all new for you at 11. Been crazy. Ruth Wilson stocked a thousand frames, but one yes. is hogging all the spotlight. Yes. It's a real interesting piece with a hingeless design coming through the frame. If they look familiar, Sarah Palin is the reason why. She could be the next VP and is giving designer Kazoo Kawasaki tons of free publicity. But with this phenomenon, it's been named the SP shape. So it's very easy for them to know exactly which one to go to. When a woman came in and said, I want the Sarah Palin I wear, my husband says he wants me to wear them because he wants me to look like her. And you can actually say, yes, I like her. Jamie Salcedo is also cashing in on Palin pride. The Jacksonville businessman makes parody products, but says Palin is taking his business to new heights. He sold 50 Palin glasses in just two days. The closest thing that has uh, taken this much attention would probably be the, the, the most recent one, would be the Vote Paris uh, parody. The one before that would have to be the, the Michael Vick chew toy. And the Republican women of Clay County are putting out this Read My Lipstick t-shirt. All this stuff for a virtual unknown just three weeks ago. In Jacksonville, Eric Spivey, First Coast News, your news leader. No kidding. Well, those glasses retail for $350, but good luck finding them. Both people we spoke with today are out of stock. They are, though, expecting more next week, so don't worry.